Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 BMW 230i convertible. Before we do that, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you click that notification bell, what that means is when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to know. Okay, so what's new with the BMW 230i convertible for 2019? Not a whole bunch. There's a couple of things. The four collision warning, the lane departure warning, and the parking sensors are now standard. That's cool. Uh, I think at this price point, it should be. And now here's something that's interesting, and I don't know anything about it. Hopefully, we're going to be able to discover more as we dig in. But Apple CarPlay is now offered as a subscription. Now, I have never heard of that before. I review a lot of cars on this channel. And you either have Apple CarPlay or you don't have it in your car. And all you would really have to do is either connect it with your data cable or some of them would stream via Bluetooth, and then you have Apple CarPlay. So subscription service, I'm interested to know more about that. So anyway, as you can see here, it says that the car is untoppable. A new, more powerful engine, classic lines, sporty handling, and a wicked fast soft top. The BMW 2 Series convertible refuses to follow convention. It writes its own rules. Here's the funny thing. It says the top goes down in 22 seconds. Well, I just reviewed the new 2019 Buick Cascada, and it's a convertible, and the top goes down, I think, in like 19 seconds. I'm going to put a link up to that video. I like the Buick Cascada. I think you get a lot of vehicle for the money, and so that's why we're going to kind of do this vehicle. We're not going to try to make it the most expensive one. We're going to not try to necessarily make it a budget build. But I'm just curious how much BMW we can get where we can kind of match the features of that Buick and how expensive is that going to be? Because with the Buick, we were under $40,000. This car is going to start at probably about $40,000. You get a 335 horsepower engine if you opt for the 240, but we're not doing the 240. And that would get you a really fast 0 to 60, but we're not going to do that one. We're going to do the regular one. I see more 230s on the, uh, on the road than I do 240s. That tells me that people are, they might want to get into a BMW, but they still have to be mindful of their budget. And so that's why we're going to do more of a budget build. Well, as great as the BMW is, as great as BMWs are, uh, every vehicle, BMWs, no exception, their cars are no exception, has pros and cons. With the two, third, with the two series in general, it has a few pros, and it only has one con that I was able to really dig up. It's pros. Impressive power with strong fuel economy. The BMW engines do perform. All right. Uh, number two, sporty handling without sacrificing ride comfort. I'll give them that for sure. And number three, well-crafted interiors with plenty of features. Right. On the con side of things, really, at the end of the day, my only gripe would be the back seats are kind of cramped. And I guess <clears throat> maybe the price point. For some folks, the price point might be a, might be a con. Uh, and that's why I want to do the 230i, because I want to see how we can, can we get this where we need it to be? Can we get it under $50,000? Can we get it under $52,000 perhaps? But anyway, let's find out a little bit more. It says the 2 Series convertible combines near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution, fine-tuning, and then, of course, they keep talking about their big high-horsepower engine, right? It's a big technological uh, achievement in classically sporty configuration. Yes, we want to find out about that base engine, but we will hear shortly. Okay, so here they are again. They're talking about that top. The sound-reducing soft top opens or closes in 22 seconds. It speeds up to 30 miles an hour. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the Buick challenges that with ease. Or remotely via the key fob, that's pretty cool, as part of the optional comfort access keyless entry feature. So it says here that the 2 Series convertible updates the clean, classic speedboat design of its predecessors. A level shoulder line flows into a slightly raised soft top compartment. I never looked at the vehicle as a speedboat. I never, I never thought of it like that. It doesn't really look like a speedboat to me. But let's see how we can set ourselves free. So the BMW Connected Drive Services, the iDrive system with the touchpad controller, 
and the optional BMW navigation system with 8.8 inch display sets you free to focus on the drive for an even more complete connection at the optional Wi-Fi hotspot and wireless charging. So we're going to see what kind of features. We're going to definitely have to look at the specs. As we go through this, we're going to look at the performance. We're, we're going through the highlights, the model highlights right now, as you can see up here. And then we're going to go through the performance tab. We'll take a look at designs and packages. And then we'll follow off with models and specs because I definitely want to check the specs and find out at the base level what exactly do we get with the car if we don't put anything on the car. What's the base options we get with the car? So here over here, speaking of options, they talk about purest options. They offer a uh, shift in overdrive. BMW's 8-speed sport automatic transmission uh, it has paddle shifters, sport-inspired gear changes, um, and then, of course, they keep talking about if you get the M240i, uh, you can get an available six-speed manual transmission. Or transmission. So I was hoping to get a, a manual transmission, but it sounds like we can only get that if we want to get the sportier, more expensive version. Okay, maximum maneuvering. BMW Dynamic Stability Control provides maximum traction when accelerating. Uh, locking the vehicle to the road. And when you want to take it easy, active cruise control keeps you comfortably underway in the 230i convertible. That's cool. All right. Got a better shot of that photo. It's an attractive-looking car. I do like the car. It's a nice-looking car. It's not a speedboat, but it's a nice-looking car. Now, here's what I've always loved about BMWs. I've always loved their iDrive. Their technology has always been great. I had a 2006 550i. And that car had Bluetooth phone, and it was fantastic. I loved that car up until I didn't love it. But anyway, iDrive 6.0, the intuitive interface of iDrive includes natural language understanding, so you can simply say what you want to do from finding a destination to choosing a radio station. You let BMW do the rest. Now, they have a few other uh, toggles to go through here, so let's look through the other ones. Then they have the wireless charging and Wi-Fi hotspot. Right, a charging pocket and a central console provides inductive wireless charging for your compatible smartphone. And then there's the onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, which lets you lets your passengers connect with ease with three gigabytes of data included free for three months. Okay. It's not much data, but all right. Park distance control, that's standard on the BMW 2 Series. It uses an array of sensors to measure distance between your BMW and nearby obstacles, giving you visual and audio guidance for a perfect parking job. I'm glad that's standard. I think that should be standard on all vehicles. I realize that it's not, but in particular, I'm glad to see that it's standard on this BMW because I think that German cars in particular, being at the price point that they're at, I think stuff like this should be standard. I think push start, push start and keyless entry should also be standard, but... It's not. Then we have BMW Connected. Arrive on time with digital services of BMW Connected. Ask Amazon's Alexa for trip details and to ventilate your BMW. The BMW Connected app will load your destination from your calendar, sync with BMW navigation, and notify you when it's time to go. That's pretty cool. All right, let's find out about the chassis because that's what the BMW really is supposed to be all about, right? Advanced engineering. So adaptive in suspension. Okay, standard on the M240, we would assume that. But here's the cool, here's the cool thing. You can get a track handling package for the 230i. This athletic suspension uses incoming information about acceleration, speed, and steering wheel position to adapt damper mapping to any road surface. Electronically controlled shock absorbers allow you to adjust firmness to match your driving style from comfortable to sporty. I think that's cool. I really like that they offered the track handling package for the 230i. That gives me hope. All right, let's find out about the X-Drive. It says BMW's intelligent all-wheel drive system uh, works in tandem with dynamic stability control to monitor ro uh, road conditions. Once it senses excess wheel slip, it smartly sends power to the wheel with the surest footing, improving traction and delivering neutral responsive handling. And then we have variable sport steering with Servotronic. Sorry, Servotronic. That's standard on the M240i. And then again, if you get the track handling package, which we're absolutely getting, I don't want to give up any sport on this car. 
um, you can get it on the 230i as well. So the variable sport steering adjusts responsiveness based on speed and steering angles. This allows for direct, agile driving with a minimum of steering effort. See, as far as I'm concerned, I want to get the best of BMW, and I want to pay for that. And for that, you know, that's usually going to be their suspension and their handling, right? Yeah, all their engines are powerful, and anybody can make a powerful motor, but the BMW chassis is really good. And so I want to make sure that our 230i has the good chassis. And so we're definitely going to get that track handling package. And if you want to make sure, don't worry. If you can, I actually will save the PDF so that way you can have the build summary. And it's already down in the description below, right? So if you go check the description below, I'll already put a link to that build summary. So if you like the way I spec out this 240, I'm sorry, this 230, I was looking at 240 right here, then you can just download the summary below. Okay, the engines. Here's what I want to know about. Here's the engine. Here's the deal. It's that 2 liter, 248 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. It makes its torque from 1450 RPMs all the way up to 4,800 RPMs. Ironically, which is about the same, uh, same torque curve as the new Buick Cascada. Seriously, I don't mean to keep bringing that car up, but I'm impressed with it. And so that's why I had to mention that. And it does it in a 1.6 liter. It's not putting down as much horsepower. But uh, it's got the same torque curve. Anyway, this engine's lightweight and smooth running and incorporates BMW's award-winning high-precision direct injection, Valvetronic, and double vanos technologies. This is going to be a strong, stout, good-running little engine. And then you throw that track handling package. You're not going to really, at the end of the day, you're not going to be giving up anything on the 240i. And you're going to save yourself a lot of money. And in the real world... You can only be you can only drive around so fast in the real world anyway. So a little a little 230i that can squirt really good and has good handling is going to be the way to go. All right? And that leads perfectly into talking about weight distribution. Balanced is beautiful. Every BMW is designed with near perfect 50/50 weight distribution. This balanced chassis stays table st table stable and planet in any situation enables you to maneuver quickly and confidently in emergency situations absolutely okay what is this setting standards the suite of standard driving features on the two series now includes park distance control and active driving assistance for added comfort and confidence on every drive there's active cruise control this is a feature it's an option that monitors traffic conditions automatically decreases or increases your speed to keep a comfortable pace with the vehicles around you. You know, um, I don't know how I feel about active cruise control. I think it's cool. I just don't use cruise control. So while I think it's awesome technology, it really does nothing for me simply because I don't use cruise control. And I don't know if you do, but if you do, then I'm sure that stuff like this just sounds great. What does sound great is lane departure warning, right? Maintain your lane at higher speeds. This system detects lane markings on roads and highways and issues a warning if you're drifting off course. I like that. City collision mitigation with braking and extra pair of eyes, right? So these sensors detect stop vehicles in your path and automatically applies the brakes in emergencies to help avoid collisions. So is this standard or is it optional? We will find out. You can be sure. So we can... In our M2, or I'm sorry, in our 230i, we can select different styles, right? Show the world what your 2 Series can do. Black, high-gloss design elements on the bumpers catch the eye, while the sport body design sends a challenge to all comers. So here's the sport look right here. Here's the luxury look, right? Let your BMW shine with this dress-to-impress design. High-gloss chrome accents highlight uh, the body from grill to tailpipe. Uh, Light alloy wheels, modified bumper inserts, complete the modern look. It's not bad looking, and the sport's not bad looking either, but it's not much of a difference, really. I think the only difference is they've, they've gone from black high-gloss elements to um, high chrome, high-gloss chrome. I think that's really the only difference between the sport and the luxury. I always liked the M Sport. We're going to do ours in M Sport. Every BMW shares racing DNA. The precision engineered aerodynamics, ambient lighting, shadow line exterior trim, right? This looks good. And honestly, that base, that two-liter motor is plenty peppy. You do the M Sport 
um, body. You do the M Sport body style. You got the base motor. You do that track handling package. Now you've got yourself a nice little car here. How much is it going to cost us? We're going to find out. All right, so this is going to kind of give us some ideas. Featured packages and options make your two one of a kind. Haha, -ha, that's clever. All right, so simplicity tier. So this tier is choose around, choose a chase adventure around every corner. Standard features like park distance control, so it's the base trim. LED headlights, dynamic cruise control, let you live in the moment and let nothing come between you. So this is your base model right here. This is your base model is the simplicity tier. Uh, tier. They should just call it the cheap, the cheap one. Uh, and then the convenience tier is driver focused. At an extra degree, so yeah, it is available on ours. At an extra degree of ease to your daily drive, comfort access lets you lock, unlock, and open the doors and tailgate without uh, fishing for your keys. While a one-year all-access subscription to Sirius XM Satellite Radio keeps you entertained on the go. So that's the convenience tier, right? I want to be able to remote to, to act to do the you know lock and unlock the doors without the key. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll see how much it costs because I'm going to weigh the pros and cons of all of that so we can kind of get the most for the least, but we'll see. All right, the premium tier says relax and enjoy. Uh, the BMW navigation system features auto-updating maps. That's cool to keep you on the right route while advanced real-time traffic information helps avoid slowdowns. A heated steering wheel, heated front seats, universal garage door opener, and more at your driving comfort and that is available on the 230i okay here's the track handling package now what does this give us this gives us high performance combination of variable sport steering adaptive m suspension and m sport brakes okay non-run flat michelin pilot sport super sport tires on 18 inch alloy ferret gray i like the ferret gray wheels complete the package that is a nice kit. Nice kit. Oh, and then they got some sporty spice wheels. All right. It says never slow your roll. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, with the 230i's catching 17-inch double-spoke wheels to the show-stopping 18-inch M double-spoke wheels on the M240i. The 2 Series sets a standard, making a lasting impression, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully, we can do some upgraded wheels. Hopefully, we can do some upgraded wheels. We will find out. Okay, so we're going to do the 230i. It starts at $41,100. So it already starts at more money than a Buick Cascada all in. But, you know, they are not they are in the same competitive class. I get it. Uh, but I just, you know, here we are, $41,100. The 0 to 60 on this car is 5.6 seconds. It's kind of irrelevant. The horsepower is 248. Now, before we go to the build your own, Let's go check out all the standard features in full specs so we are absolutely sure of what all comes on this car for $41,100. Okay, so we got the, we're at the standard features page. Let's find out what are the standard features. Oh, you can even print that. So under performance and efficiency, and I'm not going to read everything. A lot of this is going to be kind of redundant, but we know we have the 2-liter engine. Uh, it's got, of course, auto stop start. I think it's basic stuff now. It's got the brake energy re re regeneration. It's got launch control. That's cool. Uh, and it's got the drive dynamics, right, where you can choose eco, comfort, or sport, or sport plus, right? Got that. What about handling, ride, and braking? There's that dynamic stability control, and then you also have dynamic traction control. I'm right here. Then you've got the five-link independent rear suspension, um, the Servtronic, Servotronic power steering assist, ABS, dynamic brake control, cornering brake control, and what do we have for exterior? Standard are the 17-inch wheels, LED headlights, that's cool, LED fog lights, that's cool, um, chrome line exterior trim, sport kidney grill, black soft top, not much, it's basic exterior. Okay, under interior, no leather interior, no leather interior, uh, a pass-through for the rear seat, 10-way uh, power front seats, including two-way power side bolsters, one-way manual headrest, and thigh support, driver memory for exterior mirror, 
exterior exterior mirror and seat positions and you get some floor mats all right uh what about technology okay here's our audio system you got a really basic audio really basic audio 205 watt seven speaker system although they they sound good uh hd radio under instrumentation and controls let's just keep it moving here um uh, rear view camera rear window defroster bmw connected services uh dynamic cruise control you got the 6.5 inch i drive not the big 8.8 inch we're gonna probably upgrade to that though you got the usb connection bluetooth hands-free audio streaming leather wrap steering wheel with uh multi-function buttons on it lots of multi-function buttons what do we have under comfort and convenience Oh, engine stop start button. Okay, maybe I stand corrected on that. Uh, park distance control, yep. Comfort go, automatic climate control. I won't read everything. If you want to catch it all, make sure you pause the video real quick. All right. Uh, let's move, scroll down, because I think there's a few more things. Yeah, there are. Uh, three 12-volt power sockets. That's a lot for such a little car. Locking glove box, uh, power front windows, one touch up, down. That's cool. Wind deflector. Then here under safety and security, you know, you got the ABS, you got rollover protection, um, knee airbags, programmable LED daytime running lights, tire pressure monitor, anti-theft, you got an alarm, BMW assist e-call, emergency request, SOS button. Uh, what do we have for warranty? And then your basic BMW warranty is what? 12-year uh, unlimited mileage for rust, 4-year unlimited mileage roadside assistance, 4-year 50,000-mile new vehicle limited warranty. All right, let's go to the build and price. Let's get to it. But let's look at these specs first. So <laughs> let's look at these specs. It's a 2-liter. You want to know this information. It's a 2-liter, almost 2,000 cc's, 248 horse, 258 torque, 8-speed uh, automatic transmission, uh, you don't care about the gear ratios and all that, but it's there for you. There's a few other things on this page. Let's take a look at them. You've got your performance up here, 0 to 65.6. It's got a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Uh, it gets 27 miles to the gallon combined. That's pretty good. It gets 23 in the city uh, miles to the gallon, and it gets 34 miles to the gallon on the highway. It's got a 13.7-gallon fuel tank. And if you don't get the M Sport, it has run flat tires, 17 by 7, little 205s. They won't even be expensive to, to, to change. And then exterior dimensions down here. You got your length, width, and height. You got your curb weight, 3,600 pounds. The Buick is a lot heavier than that. The Buick Cascade is a lot heavier. And that's probably what's really hurting its performance. They need to, that car has to probably go on a diet. Then you got the headroom, leg room, and shoulder room down here. And that's all adequate. All right, now we will go to the building price. Okay, so right off the bat, we need to select our design. And you already know that I like the M Sport. The M Sport's already basically $45,000. So it says, maximize your vehicle's athletic pedigree with aggressive features inspired by BMW M cars. This bold look projects a muscular aesthetic that feels at home on any road. So I should say, yes, let's apply that design. Apply M-Sport design. Let's do that. Okay, so then they've got a different way they do it now. So continue without adding a tier. So if you want to just get the base model in M-Sport, you're out the door right here at 44550 That's not us. We're not rolling like that. Let's go down here a little bit. Let's go down a little bit. Premium Tier 1 includes the following eight features. Universal garage door opener, advanced real-time traffic information, heated steering wheel, heated front seats, Apple CarPlay compatibility with one-year trial. So they're running a subscription service. I haven't heard that. It's confirmed. Navigation system, speed limit info, remote services. You know I'm in. We're going to get the premium trim. All right, there's nothing else to get. Let's get the premium trim. Okay, we selected the premium trim. You, see, you can see that here. M Sport Design, premium tier, okay? And now we're at colors. We've got our non-metallic colors. If we mouse over this, does it give us the color? Yeah, Alpine White. I'm sorry, Alpine White. That one is Black Sapphire Metallic. Black Sapphire Metallic. 
Melbourne Red. I do like the Melbourne Red. I think I don't want to get this color today, but I do like the Melbourne Red. It's worth noting. Then you have the Mineral White Metallic, right? I like that. That's an attractive color. Then you have Mineral Gray Metallic. It looks kind of bluish to me. Then you have the Estral Blue Metallic, which is BMW's, I think maybe they're racing blue, maybe, I think it is. And then you have Sunset Orange Metallic. You have Sunset Orange Metallic, which I'm not feeling that color at all. I think we're going to go with the Alpine White. I just, I don't like, I don't like the, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling the Sunset Orange. The Estral Blue, I mean, maybe if it was some other car, maybe if it was some other car, possibly. Like maybe a BMW M3. I'm going to put a link up to my BMW M3 build, which I do think I did do in blue, I think. So we're going to, we're going to, do, the, we're going to do the Alpine White. I like Alpine White. I had a BMW 540i in Alpine White. Now we need to go on with the roof options. Do we want a black roof, moonlight, black, soft top, or do we want the brown soft top with silver effects? The brown soft top with silver effects. Well, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because that just gives me an idea. Let's do this. I know I just said I wasn't going to do the blue, but let's do the blue. Let's do the blue with the brown with the brown soft top. Let's do the blue with the brown soft top, and we're going to match a really nice a nice interior with that. So we're going to do the blue, the uh, the Estro blue metallic with the brown soft top with silver effects, right? Let's move on to the next module, which is wheels. Okay, we have some wheel options. What's this? The 18-inch double-spoke wheel style 461M with all-season run-flat tires. That's these. What's this one? This is the Michelin Pilot Sports with the non-run-flats. I don't think I need to be that sporty. Give me the all-seasons, probably. And then what are these? Uh, this is the M double-spoke ferret gray. Now, what were these? 461M. These are 461M with all season. Okay, so these were just with ferret gray, so they're just a different color. All right, um, is there a price difference on any of these? No, there's no price difference on any of these. So you're just picking what you want, which ones you want. Well, these were the ones that ran on it. And then let's see these with performance run flat tires. Let's do these 18-inch M double-spoke ferret gray metallic wheels. Okay, on to upholstery. Now, can we get leather? Is that possible to get leather? Let me mouse over. Black Dakota leather, yes. Coral red Dakota leather. Oyster Dakota leather. Let's see what that looks like. That's a little too light for our blue, but this cognac Dakota leather with dark brown highlight is going to go perfect. Yes. Now, think about it. We're going to have that beautiful estral blue uh, exterior with the nice brown soft top that's going to play off each other really well and then this nice cognac dakota leather with dark brown highlight it's an extra 1450 and we're almost at fifty thousand dollars here was the deal you know i recommended getting this car at the base standard level at the base level with rear wheel drive why because we can probably get all the features that we want and I like to do it, honestly, for under $52,000. I, I, was, I was realistic to know that I could ratchet up ten grand in options pretty easy, just goofing around. And we still have trim to look at, packages, and options. So that $52,000 is not looking good right now. But let's move on to trim. But the trim isn't going to cost us any money. Now, I don't like the aluminum hexagon. I never have. With the Estro Blue Matte Highlight, that is not attractive to me, uh, especially with the color seating that we have. And so since we have a more grown-up adult seating, I want to, because you can catch a little color of the leather, I want to, I like the fine wood, fine line trim with pearl chrome accents. See, that's the pearl chrome, right? And then what's this one? Fine line pure wood trim with pearl chrome light wood. I don't know if I like the light wood. Let's go with the dark. I think the dark looks better. We're going to go with the dark. I don't really care for either one, honestly, if the truth be known. But I like the darker version better. So we're still sitting at forty-nine one fifty. That didn't cost us any money. Let's check out the packages. Well, there's only one package to be had, and we're getting it. It's the track handling package, right? What does it give us now? 
It gives, oh, <clears throat> so we're going to lose those tires that I just did. All that for nothing. It gives us the Michelin Pilot, non-run flats, um, greater braking performance. Uh, what else? Let's click the more details. Adaptive imp suspension. There we go. Dynamic damper control, air cushioning, rear axle, tuned to deliver exceptional sporty driving uh, characteristics. Then we have the M Sport brakes, right, with the big M logo. And then the variable sport steering, all right? The steering ratio is adjusted depending on the steering movement. You can enjoy increased agility on winding roads. They have a disclaimer. Steering wheel will vary by model and not, reflect, <clears throat> and not reflective of a specific model, all right? So they're saying, hey. You might not get this exact looking steering wheel. Don't get all mad about it. So let's get this package. We can uptick that box. We're going to get this package. Uh, so that's going to inquire in order to make the selection. We'll have to remove the M Sport suspension. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're going to be at price fifty thousand eight fifty. Okay, maybe maybe we will do this thing for fifty two thousand. Let's move on to options. Okay, so it already shows us with the premium tier. And then as we scroll down in options, we've got wireless charging and Wi-Fi hotspot. I can live without that. The Car Harman Kardon surround system, i got to have the high-end sound system. Now, what is that? That gives us 12 speakers, um, two tweeters, uh, five mid-range speakers, two central bass speakers, five tweeters. Oh, it says includes five tweeters, two tweeters with Harman Kardon designation in the mirror triangles. Got it. All right. That's nice. We're going to get that for $875 for sure. We're in on that. Ooh, we're really there now, aren't we? Um, stainless steel pedals. I want the stainless steel pedals. I want the stainless steel pedals. Sorry, that kicks us down to that stuff. And I want the adaptive full LED headlights, right? And I want to get that park distance. So we're going to throw another grand onto that. We're going to get both of these at that option. So we came pretty close. We came pretty close. We're about a thousand dollars, and we're about a thousand fifteen dollars over because the rest of this stuff down here, these accessories, all this, I, we're not worried about any of that. iPad holders, uh, vehicle programs, the care maintenance programs, we don't do any of that on this channel anyway. The wireless charging, it's kind of, it's cool, but I can live without that. I can certainly live without that. But at this rate, since we went $500 over, but at the end of the day, I don't really care about that. So that's why I haven't checked it. The black kidney grill, I don't care about that either. Uh, I've got this car exactly the way I want it. And I, I really almost got it for the exact price I want it. So let's, um, let's go over to the summary. All right, so here it is. Can we see? Oh, we can see it with the top up. Let's check it out with the top up. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yes. Yes. I guarantee you get one like that, you won't see another one on the road like that. And everybody will be like, oh, that's beautiful. And then you get the windows tinted just a little bit. So anyway, 2019, 53,000, 5.60 to 60, 33 MPG, but that's not mixed mileage. Here's our colors, estrel blue with the brown soft top. We got the double spoke fair grays, the cognac uh, Dakota leather. And the fine wood, fine line trim with pearl chrome accent. And then you got the rest of the details here. This is what everything cost us. Here's all the prices. But don't fret because, like I said, I'm saving the build summary. All right, I'm saving the build summary, and it's in the description. So if you want the build summary for this, just go down in the description. All right, I think we're at the end. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for joining me. If you've made it to the end of this video, you are super awesome, and you rock Please do like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, have a wonderful day.